Okay, we are with us, Mr. Vijay J. Anand, founder Anahata Retreats. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here. My pleasure. Thank you. Let me ask you the first question, uh, being at a wellness forum with so many wellness experts around, what do you have to say about this kind of a forum, this kind of an event that brings all of them together? So, I have a belief. I believe that at least 95% of all human beings on this planet, 95% are unhappy. And when you have a platform like this, when you have a seminar like this, when you have a, a gathering like this, you're building a community of people who are able to share awareness to a people who are coming to see it, who want this awareness. So it's, it's a great initiative. And like I said, 95% of all human beings you know, on this planet are un unhappy. Most of them are also unhealthy, which is why they are unhappy. So a wellness event is something which I really, uh, I'm really excited always to be a part of. I teach, as you might be aware, all over the world. I teach in Russia, I teach in China, mm -hmm. all over Europe, the US, Mexico. And to be a part of this kind of an event is always something that I look forward to. And I thank you for, uh, I thank Business World and Amol and, and all the people who have sponsored this for organizing this. Okay, what is your fitness, uh, sorry, wellness mantra, if I may call it? How do you see people adhering to a wellness routine, which is not just a fad, but very easy, sustainable? The first thing I would say is obviously your food. If your food is sattva, if your food is sattvic in nature, what you eat in here makes your mind sattva. Your, your mind becomes sattvic. And when your gut and your mind is sattvic, your aura becomes sattvic. And when your aura is beautiful, and sattvic, your life becomes beautiful and sattvic. So that's the first mantra, your nutrition. The second mantra is sleep. If you are going to watch Netflix till 3 o'clock in the morning, if you want to finish your web series on a binge watching and not sleep all night, nobody can help you. So that's mantra number two. Good quality sleep at 10 o'clock at night, 10.30 latest at night, you have to go to sleep. And the third, and I think probably the most important mantra is good karma. Because you can sleep on time, you can eat sattvic food, you can go to the church, you can do yoga, you can do whatever you want. But if your karma is not good, you cannot be healthy and you cannot be happy. Very profound and very relatable uh, relatable words from you, Mr. Anand. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us. Pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you.